Hi, I'm Shanti from uh, Singapore. Uh, my journey to understand how the mind works started 10 years ago. And uh, it started because I was on antidepressants, anxiety medications. I had very bad migraine headaches. The, my husband had to call the ambulance to rush me to the hospital. So I did, I was 45 then, now I'm going to be 55 soon. So I did not want to spend the rest of my life like that on medication, being in the, taking uh, medic painkillers for the headaches. So I had to look for something. And then I came across uh, a book, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. And I read the book, I said, okay, now I know that I have two minds because nobody told me there is a conscious mind and a subconscious or unconscious mind. Neither did the neurologist explain to me about the, how the nervous system works, the sympathetic nervous system, the parasympathetic nervous system. The doctor who was giving me painkillers, he did never explain anything to me. So I had no knowledge, I had no information. So now I knew that on myself. So I searched in Singapore, this was in 2007. But I couldn't find someone I could connect with. So then I said, okay, I might as well learn this myself. So I was fortunate that the school came from London and they were teaching the doctors in Singapore. And I was fortunate that the principal agreed to take me in the class. So that was in 2007. And um, I became a hypnotherapist and um, I transformed. And I decided, okay, I'm going to help people now. So the thing is that whenever uh, there was a client who would want to come and see me, I will have anxiety first. And I'll keep praying that, please uh, make the client cancel. I don't think I can see the client. So I thought that, okay, now I need to work on myself first because if I can uh, feel calm and confident and relaxed in front of the client, I have no right to uh, work on that client. So then I started learning one therapy after another therapy after another therapy. I took online courses and I attended so many workshops, seminars, and then, uh, but I still felt anxious whenever a client would say that, you know, can I fix an appointment with you? And then I'll call my colleague, I said, I have a client, I don't think I'm competent enough in this area, can you just take the client? So I'll pass all the clients to her because um, I, I know that I still have to learn more, there's more to learn, there's more to learn. So then I came across uh, Robert's uh, videos and uh, it was uh, really, uh, it really got into me that when he says that, uh, when he, uh, he, wo he was tapping and I tapped along on his videos and he says, you're tormenting yourself, you're scaring yourself, you're frightening yourself. And I said, that's right, that's what I'm doing. I'm only scaring myself and frightening myself. And I decided that I need to go and meet this man and learn from him because there are so many things that he explained in his videos, especially the part about changing the memories because in the 10 years I had forgiven everyone and made peace with everyone, but I did not flip the memories. The memories were still running my life. So I told my husband, I said, now I need to go for another course. And he says, what, another course? 10 years are not enough? You want to go and learn some more? I said, yeah, this, I promise you, this will be the last one, the last one, no more after that. And he knows how stubborn I am. So he said, okay, how much do you want the credit card? How much do you, you have to pay for the course? I said, this is not an online course. I have to fly to Australia. <laughs> So, uh, uh, he said, um, okay, is this the last one? I said, yeah, yeah, okay, this will be the last one because I really want to learn this. So, I'm here today and it has been an amazing, amazing week. What I learned in that one week, I mean, it, it was more than enough it, that the 10 years didn't teach me what I learned in this one week. It was that... that uh, the missing link that I was looking for, because I was still creating uh, this, the reality 
which was which I didn't want because the memories were still there. I did not change the memories. Although I, I did forgiveness therapy and I did uh, change the meaning of the memories, but I did not change the memories. So the data was still creating um, the same reality. It's like I did not change the film in the projector, which I had to change that film to so that I have a different movie now playing on the screen of my life. And so I realized that um, I need to go and do a lot of cleaning in my memories. And it's a, it's a metaphor because when I'm at home, I'm quite fussy about cleaning. I have a helper at home and I'll say, this part is not clean, the windows are dusty, this is dusty, you have not cleaned under the bed. But I realized that, you know, I need to clean inside my mind because that's where I take my mind wherever I go, I take it with me. So I have a lot of cleaning to do inside my mind and I'm going to work on that and clean whether the house is super clean or not, does not matter, but I want my mind to be super clean. Thank you.